My hair was weird, so I thought that a hat would fix it. Clearly it doesn't, but we're just gonna go with it. Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome to this video. Today I will be doing my October wrap up and I actually read quite a few books, so I'm just gonna jump right into it and get the show on the road. First I read Escape from Witchwood Hollow by Jordan Elizabeth. This is about a girl who has lost her parents in 9-11 and she moves with her brother and her aunt and uncle to this little town thing outside of New York and weird things happen to her. She feels like she can see ghosts and there's this rumor about a witch in the forest that if you walk into the forest you won't be able to get out. And this jumps between different time periods and it's all very fascinating and it's a witch book and it's not like anything I've ever read before. I made a review so please go check that out and read it because I need to talk to someone about this book because I really really enjoyed it. After that I read Username Evie by Joe Suck. This is a graphic novel and it's about Evie who doesn't really know how to relax herself. So her father who is very ill, he designs this kind of virtual reality for her where she builds the world herself and everything that's in it. But someone follows her and affects this world very very badly and she has to save this world that her father built for her and I enjoyed it. It wasn't as great as I think I would have expected. It was one of the first graphic novels that I've ever read so that might be. Um, I'm not entirely sure but I'll definitely read more graphic novels in compared to this and I also did a review for this and yeah go check that out. Next up I read 12 books in the same series and I'm trying to hold everyone up at the same time and it is the saga of Darren Shan and I really enjoyed these books I've never read them before and it's middle grade this series consists of 12 books and it's kind of like four trilogies that compiles to a series the first trilogy is vampire blood and it consists of Cirque de Freak as book number one the vampire's assistant and talents of blood and this is the first three books and this is where we meet Darren Shan who is like our main character and I'm not entirely sure how old he's supposed to be. I think about 12 but I'm not sure. And what happens is that he and his friend they go to this freak show called Cirque de Freak and something happens. He's drawn into this world and he becomes a half vampire. And this is one of the things that I really really love about this series is their take on vampires and the fact that you can be a half vampire and then he has to learn how to deal with this and be, how to be a half vampire and what comes with it and I really enjoyed it. The next trilogy is called Vampire Rites and consists of Vampire Mountain, Trials of Death and The Vampire Prince. And this is where Darren goes with Mr. Krebsley, who is kind of his mentor, to Vampire Mountain because every 15 years, I think I remember it like everything, every 15 years? Yeah, they have this kind of conference thing. He has to go there and Mr. Krebsley has to explain why he made a young boy into a half vampire because normally the rules state that you have to be an adult and Darren isn't so he has to go and explain that and yeah things happen. I don't want to spoil any of you so yeah. The third trilogy is called Vampire War and consists of Hunters of the Dusk, Alleys of the Night and Killers of the Dawn and this is where it gets really exciting because there's a war to ensue between the vampires and the vampanese. Vampanese are vampires who kill everyone that they feed off and vampires don't kill unless it's absolutely necessary and yeah now there's a war that's about to happen and there are these things that have been predicted about who is going to win and what they will do and there's this vampanese lord and i'm clearly not doing a good job at explaining this but it's really good and yeah the fourth and final trilogy in the series is called Vampire Destiny and it consists of The Lake of Souls, Lord of the Shadows and Sons of Destiny. And this is kind of where everything has to wrap up for Darren and for his adventures and he is very afraid in these books because there's this prophecy 
that states that there's going to be a Lord of the Shadows that's kind of going to ruin the Earth completely as we know it. And one of the outcomes could be that he is that Lord and he's very scared because he don't want to become that person. Well, obviously he doesn't want to destroy the world, so he has to learn a lot about himself and a lot about a friend of his who has to figure out who he is. And for me, I personally really love this final trilogy because there are so many questions that are being answered. I absolutely loved all of these books and I would recommend them. I think the lowest one got was 3 and then some got 5 and some got 4 or 4.5 and I just really really enjoyed this series and I wish that I'd read it when I was younger. After that I read The Amazing Book is Not on Fire by Dan Howell and Phil Lester and this is amazing. It actually I ordered from their website so it came with these little Dan and Phil things. I don't know if you can see them clearly and I just think they're adorable and it also came with a leather bookmark and we all know that bookmarks are the greatest so I really love this and then it has all their favorite shirts and outfits and I just love it and yeah but to anyone who has been living under a rock for the past five to eight years Dan and Phil are youtubers and roommates and best friends and they have a radio show on BBC One and they're just amazing human beings and I love them and I love this book. This is not a novel and it's not really a memoir because it's kind of like as it states on the bottom the world of Dan and Phil and I feel like this is just everything great. It's kind of like one of the YouTube videos just written out. Um, they also kind of talk about some things that happened to them before they started YouTube and during YouTube and with their education and stuff and also just fun things like there's a guide how to do the cat whiskers and I love it and if you love Dan and Phil please read it because this is just absolutely great and yeah amazing. The amazing book is not on fire. It's amazing and definitely not on fire. After that I read Color Me Created by Christina Webb and this is kind of half an autobiography and half a color slash activity book I think because half of it is like challenges for drawing. Christina Webb is an artist that I personally really really love. She has an Instagram called Color Me Creative that I will link down below. This is kind of how she came to pursue drawing instead of getting like a real education and I really really enjoyed finding out more stuff about her because I really really love her work and then there's these challenges that you can do in the back. Then I read Spin the Love by Lisa Terry. I received a free ebook in exchange for an honest review on Goodreads and Amazon. This is about Wispy and her best friend who she's actually fighting with in the beginning of the book and kind of like an old school friend that's not really a friend and they make this bet because they want to give each other challenges. Wispy, she has to feel something and her best friend who she's arguing with, uh, his challenge is to get with a guy even though he's straight and their friend thinks has to fall in love with someone and make that person fall in love with her. And this is kind of a thriller mystery book because a lot of this, a lot of the book kind of I don't know, confused me because I didn't get a lot of <laughs> the information that I really needed but I don't know how to explain it. I liked it but there were some aspects of it that I just found way too confusing for me. Um, but overall I thought it was a good read and maybe, maybe it's just not my kind of style or something but I really feel like some of the characters that were more in the background could have like stood out more because I feel like they were developed more and there were some of the characters that I really wanted to find out more about but Wispy didn't really like speak to me. I didn't really feel a lot of things for her and I think that's one of the things that made it hard for me to really get into the story but the plot was brilliant. I really really loved that and that is also why I gave it three stars because the plot was amazing. I just 
think that for it to really work with me, it had to be another narrator. But I, I genuinely liked it, even though I had some problems with it, if that makes any sense. And lastly, I read Girl Online on tour by Zoe Suck. I read Girl Online, the first book, in January, I think. And I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's The first one was very mushy and romantic and very cliche and very... Like, I see what's coming all the time, but I kind of like that and it's kind of what it's supposed to do and it's written for like, I think, 12 to 17 year olds. I don't fall into that category, but I still think it's fun and it's just a fun quick read and this is kind of the same. It's obviously a different plot because this is the follow-up. Penny is going on tour with Noah and stuff happens and this is also very mushy and romantic and kind of cliche and kind of predictable but i enjoyed it i gave this one star less than i gave girl online simply because of editorial mistake i, f I feel like it's because of editorial mistakes because i noticed things that were wrong like grammatically wrong and i know i probably don't speak perfectly grammatically correct just that sentence what's wrong with me but i feel like a book should have been gone through so many times that some of these mistakes should have been caught and i don't know i gave it three stars because it was still really fun and a really quick read and yeah so these were all the books that i read in october i am very proud of myself because i didn't think that i was going to be reading this much in october because I did have a bit of work. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.